All right, we are trying to determine <clears throat> density experimentally and decide whether that that is an intensive or extensive property. So density is really always going to come back to mass per unit volume. So no matter what we do, we need to find the amount of mass in a volume of substance to find its density. So if we're trying to determine this experimentally, we could look at a liquid. And for a liquid, we're going to need to mass a container add a known volume of liquid and then mass the container and the liquid and then subtract the container's mass. Okay, so that will give us the mass of the liquid. And we can divide that by the volume of the liquid. And get the density. And that's for a liquid. Okay, so if we're dealing with a solid now, we can just mass the solid on its own. And then, <clears throat> we can put that solid into a water bath. And then we can measure the amount of water displaced by the solid's volume. If we don't want to use displacement for this volume, and we have a nice geometric solid, we can always calculate the volume. of a geometric solid. So just like before now, we know the mass and we know the volume, so we take the mass of the solid, we divide it by the volume of the solid, and that's going to give us the density of the solid. Now, as to whether or not density is an intrinsic or an extrinsic property, <clears throat> we have to first know what those are. So an, intrin an intensive property is something that's not going to change no matter how much substance you have. And things like that would be molecular weight, color, chemical makeup, things like that. Things that are very specific only to that. Uh, that particular substance and they're definitely not going to change. So an extensive property then would be something that can change with the amount of substance 
And so things like this are going to be mass volume moles. They're things that we would measure maybe to determine the intensive properties. So, since the density does not change with the amount of substance, it must be an intensive property.